Welcome to Eventful Endeavors, secrets to crafting the perfect celebration. If you're planning an event and looking for useful tips from industry experts, you're in the right place. So get ready to take some notes and we'll dive right in. This is Eventful Endeavors. All right. Hello, hello, hello. We are back with another episode of Eventful Endeavors. Today, we have two people for the first time ever on our uh, podcast. We're going to be talking to Lindsay and Leah, uh, the Double Knot Twins, as they're known around the Orange County area. Uh, two wedding planners, sisters, twins that uh, plan weddings and make things awesome on your special day. So first of all, hello, guys. Thank you for being here. Hello. Hi, so Super nice excited. Cool. To be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, too, because uh, we've not actually worked a wedding together yet, uh, but I do want to just hear, you know, I'm, I'm excited to talk about kind of what you guys do. So first things first, uh, I always ask everybody, tell me your story. I mean, how did you guys get into this, especially get into it together? Like, how is that a thing? What was the story there? Right. Yeah, we actually uh, were initially we had, you know, struggled on what we want to do with our lives. We try to do different things. We try to have our own, you know, strengths and and then we, you know, we actually went to college in different places, but then we came back together because uh, we were actually very inspired by the Wedding Planner movie with J-Lo. Um, nice. And I realized while watching that movie that this is like, this is so us. This is something that has all of our strengths, you know, in there. And, you know, our high school friends, whenever we, you know, if we wanted to hang out, we had to plan it. You know, if there, if we had any sort of winter formal plans or prom plans or anything, like we had to plan it. So like we were always the planners in our group of friends and we had quite a group. So it was always a task. Um, and, uh, after that, you know, every project and every, uh, research project or, uh, you know, school project revolved around the wedding planning industry. And, uh, then we launched it out of Cal State Fullerton's uh, entrepreneurship program. I actually had students in a team working for me to help me launch my business with the entrepreneur oh. program there. So big thanks to the Titans over there at uh, Cal State Fullerton. And uh, we've been going ever since. Do you want to add? Yeah. Um, and I had got my business uh, management degree at uh, Cal Poly Pomona and we came back together after our college years launched our we got certified uh, we you, went to the extended university there and got our wedding planning certification which was Ooh. led by yeah uh, a wedding planner that had been doing weddings for 20 or so more years um, and she you know taught us a skill and gave us a big blank slate to start with and we kind of edited and audited it to make it more modern and more us and um really just honed in on on the the process that we use um and we've you know made it our own and and we've done been doing weddings for about 16 years since so oh. we're excited to yeah call this our full time outside of being moms and um yeah and be the experts in the industry uh, so yeah that's where it all started <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to ask you this because if I worked with my siblings, either nothing would get done or we would rip each other's heads off. So uh, what's set like that dynamic, like working together, like do you split things up? Like, hey, you handle contracts, I handle this, or you handle this area, I handle this. Like, do you guys have like a good system at this point that you've done? Yeah. Um, so it is, it is different working with your sibling, um, but it's actually a really good different. Like you get to... Uh, work together. We're, we're kind of twin. We're twins too, so we kind of have the same brain or the way we think. So we almost don't have to finish a sentence. I'm like, hey, can you get that with that? Yeah, I'm right there. I already got it. I'm already okay. Great. Like that's yeah. how it is sometimes with us, and we're on the same brainwave. But then also, people will call us like she's the she's the uh, the string, and I'm the kite. Like I'm got a little bit more of the creative. She runs the office, and so we kind of balance each other out like that. Um, so yeah, we work as a really really good team actually. Um, and so yeah, it's it's nice to have your sibling. Also, my other benefit I always say is you can kind of yell at your sibling, not yell, but like you know you can get real with them. Like if you sure. were. You know, I'd be like, hey, hey, what, what are you doing? You know, and it's just my right. sister, you know, <laughs> not offended at all. It just that's like, how we are. Right. And, yeah, people giggle at us sometimes when we're talking to each other in a, in a friendly, competitive way. We actually compete with each other to make each other better because we were like, oh, well, I got this better than you. Oh, mine, mine's better than you. And that's, you know, our competitive nature that kind of created the perfectionist in us, I guess. And sure. uh, we just love it. Yeah. That's us. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, healthy competition. Yeah, you know? exactly. And healthy. everybody's after the same goal. So that's good. Right, we're exactly. always on the same page to that goal. So yep. you you guys are Orange County, right? That's where you guys are at? Yeah, I'm in Chino, though, so it's kind of on the border. Leah's in Placenta. Sure. So Orange County, IE, those are our stomping grounds. And do you guys mostly work around there? Do you travel? Do you, like, do destination weddings? We are, are you pretty much as long as the client's got the budget and ready to pay for it, we'll do it? Like, what's your kind of... Uh... <laughs> 
okay. radius. We like to say, you know, if I can drive there in an hour to an hour and a half, uh, it's our it's our space. So LA, cool. we've gone as far as you know Burbank up in there. We've done down to like San Temecula, uh, San Diego. We've done um, Murrieta up in like the Victorville area too. So um, anything in that range, we are game for it. If someone wants to add a little extra, I'm happy to travel. But we we you know sure. our goal is to be in our little sweet spot here. Yeah. That's great. Do you guys do, is it mostly full planning? Do you guys do full, partial? What's kind of your uh, main thing? A little bit of both? Yeah. Um, our, our most popular package, we have three different packages. Our most sure. popular one is our two month out package. Cause a lot of brides, they love shopping on Instagram and going to bridal shows and finding all yeah. their vendors. But once they book all their vendors, they're like, what do I do now? Um, so that's right. where we're very popular to come in on our two month out package um, where we you know, can make the timeline, the floor plan, you know, fine tune all the logistics, fill in the missing gaps, the holes, the issues, um, do all the confirmation calls with the vendors and walk the space and just be the expert. And then that way we, they kind of almost, the vendors hand all of their issues over to us and they go to us with any issues right. and go to the bride. So it's a really great package. Everybody enjoys their day. All the experts have the, uh, the assistance they need and we're there from start to finish. We also have two other packages. I mean, if you want to sure. just touch on them. Yeah, the, the, of course, there's our, our, we call it our princess package. That's the full planning. So that's a package that can help guide someone who wants help from the top to the bottom. Uh, I don't even know where to start type of bride or help me find right. venue. Even now, where do I go? Um, and so we've also had couples who are like, I have never done a wedding before. I don't even think I've ever been to a wedding. So I don't even know how to start. So those, <laughs> those are the couples that like really need the full hands, hand holding yeah. throughout process. And then we also have a day of package, which I like to say is reserved for our type A OCD brides who I know how to plan. I want to plan it. It's my, you know, I'm, I'm really organized, but I just need someone there on the event day to run my plans for me. Um, and so we, we have an actual like super long meeting right before their wedding and they hand off all their plans to us and we help run it and uh, using our emergency kit and all the things we have to make sure, sure they can enjoy the day. So with all those different packages, like how many like weddings do you guys actually do per year? Like how often are you on site? Do you do right. a lot? Do you do like, a, do you limit it? Like, is there like a limit? You're like, this is my capacity. I do not want to go crazy this year. Okay, right. Right. Uh, sorry, my phone's ringing at the same time. Uh, so uh, we typically do about 25 weddings a year, give or take 10. Um, you know, in the, our early years, we would do only like five to 10, maybe 12. Uh, and then, but now that we've been doing it for 16 years, we kind of squeeze in 25. To, there's sometimes 30, I think we did 32 last year because including ceremony and stuff. Some of the smaller stuff, I don't really count, but yeah. Sure. But, some of but, those micro weddings, you're like, those are easy. <laughs> yeah, we, we work, we do, um, some venues do hire us to be the rehearsal and ceremony experts because the venue staff doesn't want to go run a rehearsal. They're like, I don't know how to run a rehearsal. So they hire right. us. So that's a really like an extra thing to do on a weekend. We don't have book, but um, generally sure. we do more than one or two a weekend and it has to space itself out right because we got to be there for the rehearsal and the wedding, which is two days. So it's hard to book right. one a weekend. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you're, I mean, if you do thirties, I mean, that's almost every weekend you guys are uh, out doing the thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's seasonal I mean, two times. It's like ooh, nothing, everything, nothing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I know how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get it. You know, I'm out there every weekend for the most part as well. So I, I don't think I've had a free Saturday in many years. So I, I, I miss that, but it is what it is. So you guys have been involved in the wedding industry for 16 years. You said, yeah. Uh -huh. So this is a fun question I like to ask. So, do you, from when you started till now, what is like some of the major differences or like trends you've seen? Like, hey, weddings used to do this. Now they don't really do that. Everybody's doing this. Like, what, what's like some of that shift that you've noticed? Because I've noticed it even in the last, ever since COVID, I've noticed it. Oh, wow. You know, so I'm curious over that course of time, what you've seen change. I'm all, I'm all with a 10, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I remember like candy stations and like, we didn't have photo booths. We didn't have... Uh -huh. What was it? It was just yeah. We rarely had a videographer back in the, in yeah. the initial days. Now it's like <laughs> really? yeah. But now people are trying to have a lot of fun. They're doing like more like how to entertain their guests with like dancers or entertainment. We even had a a, a Darth Vader attack a reception with some <laughs> <surprise> the groom. <laughs> Wait, it was the groom. No, yeah. the bride surprised the groom oh. by having Darth Vader attack the reception because she wanted him to like, not do any Star Wars stuff. And then she was like, but I want to surprise him with the Star Wars attack. And so it actually ended up being like the spotlight of the night uh, moment. Uh, That's amazing. Super surprised. Uh, um, but yeah, having fun entrances um, of like we've had ballerinas and dancers and drummers and like the, the dragon dancers. And um, gosh, we've had 
all kinds of fun things that makes it entertaining. A lot of bride and grooms aren't doing the bouquet and garter toss anymore. Um, they're, they just, yeah. just over traditions and someone telling them how to do it, um, but they want to be themselves. So, so we love, yeah. we like to make sure it's their event and not our event, you know? That's something I've noticed recently too, is like, it seems like everybody's trying to do the opposite of what the traditional thing, or like somebody's trying to do something they, they'd never seen, or maybe they saw on TikTok, like, the, you know, right. just a lot of uniqueness. So every wedding, I feel like they're like, oh, we're going to do this thing. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what that is, but all right, we're going to yeah. do it. I did a wedding once where I had to MC a flip cup tournament <laughs> on awesome. the dance floor. Like they were like, we're going to do a flip cup tournament before what? the dance party. And oh they were like, can you MC it? And I was like, sure. I've never done that. I was like, I'll figure this out. It actually ended up being really fun. Yeah, but, uh, cool. And then right. th there was beer all over the floor. And then they had to mop it up before people could dance. It was a bad. <laughs> yes. The logistics. That, that's where my brain is. It's like, oh, my God, you have to right. take the cops. Who's going to set it out? Who's going to clean it up? How are you going to move the yep. <laughs> Oh, they right. unfortunately did not have a wedding planner at their event, which oh. you know we all don't advise doing, uh, because then I end up being in charge of things, and that's just a disaster. Uh, <laughs> and they didn't think about that, so I was like, we were about to dance, and I was like, there's a puddle on the floor. This is an accident waiting to happen. So, yeah. word to the wise: get a wedding planner. Um, yeah. uh, speaking of which, so let me ask you this: uh, when you say you, a newly engaged couple, what's your like big piece of advice, like right out the gate, you know, you would say it to your friends, family, whoever just got engaged, like, this is what you should do first. Yes. You're like, okay, first and foremost, I mean, everyone's like, oh, I just, you know, go hire people. But I'm like, you, you can't find a venue until you know how many people you're going to have. So start right. writing your guest list. <laughs> and then you can't go shopping venues until you know how much money you have in your bank to spend. So figure out your budget. And that might mean a really awkward conversation with mom or mother-in-law <laughs> and figure out and who's in contributing here and once you have that like guest count and budget then you can go sh start going shopping um but don't don't pick your date yet <laughs> uh but yeah um and I don't know if you want to add. yeah as far as first that's the perfect first i'd say um on like how like advice for your wedding planning journey though um definitely important to hire professionals and not just any random guy or friend that you know um we like to try and avoid frienders as we call them friends who become vendors, um because you just don't get that that customer service or that professionalism that you get when you have professionals working we have certainly noticed that when you have a good set of vendors the wedding goes much smoothly there's so much more fun being had uh, and a lot less stress and like hiccups or you know power failures things like that <laughs> yes you're you're honestly the first one i've talked to that has said that and i've been waiting for it because that is yeah. I, there's never ever been a time where it worked <laughs> like yeah. I, and at least not at any wedding i've been a part of like there's never been a time it worked something's always gone wrong because that person was like i don't know what to do I'm yeah. like yeah you hired uncle joe to run the bar like you know yeah. he's been drinking <laughs> since one yeah. you know? oh my god and he's joining the party and all of a sudden he's yeah. not even anymore and you're like why yeah. are people pouring yeah. their own drinks yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. then it becomes mayhem so that is exactly right and yeah i that stuff is always something that me I always tell people, yeah, in the end, your family and friends, they want to celebrate you guys. They want to party. Let them do that. This is work for us. It is fun for you. So, you know, that you can't really wear both hats. Uh, we've tried as friends. Sure. You know, weddings and it's just too hard so we'd step back and be guests and and then we get someone else to do the work so <laughs> and you want I'm... your friends to be guests you want them to be guests. you don't want them to work you know right? yeah yeah so... i almost did it at my wedding i'm glad i didn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like oh you want to save a couple bucks but like then your guests are going to be sacrificing their good time and they just want to celebrate too so. right yeah so um now let, let, I want to get into some fun stuff because this is what I always, I want to get into some stories, some things uh, you've seen. So um, I got three questions. The first one, let's start with this because you kind of, are, I hope you already didn't say it with the Darth Vader thing because that's pretty unique. But what's the most like uh, unique thing you've ever seen in a wedding? Like something that stands out other than the Darth Vader because you already touched on that. Uh, uh, something you've never seen before and you might never see again that was just so unique to this couple or whatever. Uh, yeah, I think um, maybe it's just the nerd inside me that, but like this one bride entered uh, her ceremony, like when she, the bride walked down the aisle to the Jurassic Park themed uh, movie soundtrack. Oh, I was crying. I was like, this is so epic. Um, so use your movie soundtrack. Actually, I think the groom walked into the Darth Vader yeah, thing I, and the yeah. bride 
walked into the Jurassic Park soundtrack, like, find out what it means something to you and use it. You don't have to walk down the aisle like Canon and D. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Sure. Yeah, um, what's another unique one? We actually rented out an entire cargo ship for an event, um, and it was a very casual wedding. Um, there was uh, It was a same-sex couple, so they wanted something unique, um, and they're, they they just loved the you know cargo ship that they found to rent. So uh, it's actually the one near the Iowa there. Um, I forget what it was called. Um, but yeah, they uh, we had a little treasure hunt on the ship, and then they had food stations, and we even had our caterer like bring their whole uh, kitchen kitchen onto the ship with like the big crane and yeah. stuff. It was really fun. Um, yeah. That was definitely one for the books that I'll never forget. And I'm sure we've got tons of other stories. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I, I always love. Uh, like choreographed dances to and surprise dances, whether the groom's doing it for the bride or the bride's doing it for the groom, or they do it together for everybody. Or I have seen some amazing father daughter dances. I had like a father daughter do the whole, um, we don't talk about Bruno, um, like <laughs> lead to the movie. They did it together. Wow. Dang, that was like two years ago, and that was like really big. I'm sure Sean would appreciate song mashups yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah definitely definitely in my wheelhouse i love a good first dance i love i love when that stuff happens so the, uh, the dances it's amazing the energy that you feel when they start busting out some choreographed moods and oh just it's just the vibes it's just it's un, unbeatable and honestly people are always like oh my body's gonna be so boring there's nothing exciting going on i was like you are the excitement you are the energy you guys right. and your guests you don't realize how much of the decor and the energy is coming from the guests and from you yeah 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 that's so honest. And I, you know, I wanted to tell you real quick, I, I don't want to talk too much about my own thing because I like to talk to you guys, but uh, the Jurassic Park theme remind me, I almost did that uh, at our wedding because I'm a big Jurassic Park nerd, like dinosaur nerd. And have you guys been to Reptacular Animal Ranch up in um, Silmar? No, but I've heard of There's it. A, I've heard. Yeah. So that's where I got married and I actually had them on the podcast uh, a couple weeks back. And oh. we were talking about it, and they have all these animals, and they have this camel that you can ride down the aisle. <laughs> and I had talked to my my now wife, and I was like, she, she was actually the one who suggested. She's like, should I come down on a camel to the Jurassic Park theme? And I was like, yeah, we should do that. And then we continued to talk about it, and she was like, I don't know, the dress will get there. like. We ended up logistically being like, let's not do this. It's not. It's a bit. It's funny, but I don't know. It's it could. It could not be that great. How do I get off the camel? Like there was yeah. just a lot of like the camels are know. pretty high up there. I don't blame you from kind of mixing yeah. that. Like a very. And I was like, I was like, let's think this through and see what we always try to say. Like, what could the disaster be? You know, <laughs> anything that yeah. What's going to keep us off of YouTube? <laughs> right. Anything that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So I try to beat it to the punch. That's um, speaking of things going wrong, what's the What's the craziest um, like thing you've seen gone wrong? Like something you were like, oh no, this is not good. So I mean, we have quite a few stories. The one that comes to my mind first every time is uh, this really sweet young couple. They came from a distance from Riverside to go to a spot in Long Beach. And uh, at the rehearsal dinner, um, I had just gone home from the rehearsal dinner and because they had brought everything in a U-Haul to the hotel they were getting ready or uh, getting married at. And they went out to get something out of the rehearsal after the rehearsal dinner and the trailer was gone. It was stolen. So all of their Somebody stole it? Somebody stole the trailer of all their ha their wedding decor, their centerpieces, their, you know, chair covers, their um, candy station, their everything was gone. And luckily she's oh. she she still had her dress and her bouquet because she wouldn't let that go. Thank goodness. Um and we had to deal with a lot of tears over the night and in the morning, kind of letting them know, like, we're still going to get married. They almost wanted to cancel the whole thing. I said, no, 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 no. You still have guests coming. You still have food. You still have a venue. You still have um, us. You, you know, there's still a cake coming that you have a bride and a groom and you still have a marriage license. Like, this, there's no, the wedding is still going, even though you don't have all the decor. And um, I even was telling you, like, don't let people know. Like, they have no idea what it was supposed to look like. We had our, uh, because the venue had a, a hiccup about the, the, cameras in the parking lot they actually pulled a bunch of their vendors we pulled a couple of our vendors and overnight we had new chair covers we had f actual flowers wow. not no flowers we had a candy station we had you know all sorts of stuff that got pulled together within 24 hours and it was a beautiful beautiful wedding um and i think the little the, the little they were they were small people but they were also very young i think that young couple realized that it's more about the love and what they're right. celebrating than about the items that are there that they created so I think we all kind of learned some fun lessons there, but uh, we all pulled it through and it was beautiful. And the mom was super grateful that we were there to kind of guide them. Yeah. yeah. 
that's kind of when the wedding planners also become like part therapists at this point. Like, we'll to, we'll to calm you down. When the, it's going to be okay. You know, we're yeah. there. It's going to be okay. You're still going to get her married. It's going to be fine. Yeah. yeah. Mom was very, the mom was very into the details on that one because she was a super young bride. So um, there was a lot of tears. Um, but but yeah. yeah, we were definitely therapists that day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, there's, there's all things that go wrong. I mean, we're, we're, we always help with like, I've, I've seen such long speeches and stuff too, or, you know, people go on for like 20 minutes, you know, and you're just like, oh my gosh. So we, t we always tell people like, you know, two minutes or less. And if you get lost or you don't know what you're doing anymore, because you you have too much to drink already. And you're like, how do I end this? I might just raise your glass and say cheers and everyone will follow. And so I've done it too. I've been in the back of the room and there's a drunk guy up there trying to figure out what he's saying. And he's like, I can tell he's like, I don't know what to do now. So in the back of the room, I'm like, cheers. And then he's like, oh yeah. And then he wrapped up his speech, but you know, yeah. you, got, you got to do, I mean, we've, We've hemmed and bustled dresses with safety pins and double-sided tape if we need to. Just things that just, they don't get fin figured out and we've got to fill in some gap. It's, that's what we do. Yeah, oh. but on the fly. We use our emergency kit a lot and uh, that's what it's yeah. like. What's in the emergency kit? Like, I just, as a side note, I'm curious. What's, I, I, I see all the wedding planners have them. Like, what's, what's yep. like the main, what's in there? Yeah, like we Mary have, Poppins, like pulling yeah. things out of a bag. We have, it's like a rolling luggage set and a couple of the pieces sure. unroll and there's, you know, everything from, you know, uh, uh, you know deodorant to, you know, uh, Advil and Tylenol to duct tape and masking tape and extension cords. And we steamer. also have a whole steamer and we have a, I have a sound system, like a little battery powered speaker. Cause we actually have had a wedding where the power went out. And so we pulled that speaker out and we were able to continue the dancing, um, battery powered for until the power came back on so <laughs> you never know That's um, smart. yeah, yeah uh, and, and we have backup equipment there's an extra card box sitting behind us this is our radios which we use anyways but um you know we have uh extra decor if something happens to your sign or like oh i was supposed to bring it and i left it at home like hey i have signage i have cards i have money bags i have extra yeah. draping i have extra flowers i have like have all right. kinds of motives like we'll just put it stuff out that we have yeah. don't worry we have garters in there <laughs> i have a garter yeah exactly we have Cake cutting sets and yeah. so much stuff, so much stuff. And, and I always wonder what's in those bags because I see them. Probably the scissors. So, oh yeah, number one tool. Scissors, yeah, scissors are big. Got have scissors. On you. <laughs> but I always laugh because I know there's so much stuff in those bags when I see wedding planners have them. But they look, they don't always look like huge bags. Like it's like the amount of stuff that I'd see in like a giant suitcase, but then it's like a small bag, and they're like, like literally, it like reminds me of like Mary Poppins, like pulling out like an umbrella from this like small bag i'm like what happened how did i get there totally it fits it all fits in there yeah it's yep. magic the magic there's of wedding planning more stuff in my car that's not in the little rolling luggage you know in yep. case that like there's something bigger that we need to pull out of the car then we will go to the trunk of wonders right right <laughs> yeah yeah so okay so miss yeah so that's that's definitely a bit of a, a stressful mishap that happened but let me ask you this too uh this is the one i always love uh because obviously like i'm with you on speeches like as somebody who has to MC and deal with all that, like there is nothing worse. My, I don't know what your guys' record was, but there was one father of the bride speech that pushed thirty six minutes. Wow! I think there was like yeah. a twenty minute one, and he was pulling like, "You guys get comfortable. This speech is twenty minutes long." Oh. And Dad paid for things, so we'll let him do it. And actually, he he did a really well full rounded speech, and so actually he did fairly well considering. But like we were aware like he was going to go on that long, and he did. That's long. It's and that that always makes me uncomfortable. But that's what I was going to ask: is like speeches aside, what's the cringiest thing at weddings? Like, what's the thing you're like, oh, please don't do this. It never works. It's so uncomfortable. I hate yeah. when people do it. Uh, I mean, we we try to like knock out some of the cringy stuff before the wedding happens. But we have um, like worked with weddings that are what we call, like the day of weddings, essentially. Like we come yeah. into the wedding. We don't get to change their plans. We just get to know their plans and try to run them. I mean, I can right. give them plans up. This is going to be weird or do it this way. Or, mm -hmm. But um, so, I mean, things happen like um, like like when people want to do their first dance, I'm always suggesting like do your first dance first because everyone's staring at you. The excitement's there. Everyone wants to take a picture with you. Everyone wants to stare at you for five minutes. They want to talk to you. So it kind of gets it all out of their system while you do the first dance right as you enter the room. And then they, you can sit down and then everyone just kind of relaxes into it. Um, and if you do, I had a couple that did a first dance like an hour and a half later, and it was just like they were coming out of the bathroom. They were already sweaty. Everyone already talked to them already, and it was just like not a special moment anymore. Right. Um, so yeah, it's important to like let us help you make that timeline make sense. You know, don't don't 
go against the grain when we ask, when we say we do it this way, it's usually because there's a reason. And um, so uh, that was, uh, there was another thing I wanted to add. Um, what was it? Oh, cringeworthy things. Oh yeah. The decor wise. Oh no, sorry. Okay. Cut off all that junk. But yeah. Yeah. Cringeworthy stuff. So we definitely, another thing that bothers me all the time is when brides do not get their dress bustled or they don't have it altered properly and they're constantly stepping on it. They can't even walk through it. They're dragging their train or holding on to the little, the little hanger that's supposed to be, you know, for hanging up the dress, not for you holding it all night. We don't want to look at the underside of your dress. We want to look at your dress. So get it bustled so you can maneuver around your guests properly. Get it the right hem length so that you're not tripping on it all day. Please, you know, you're, you're, you you want to enjoy your event, not sit there trying to figure out how to walk across the room and being, you know, scared to move. So um, that, yeah. that's my pet peeves. I know. I'm all, eh, I mean, there's some visual things. We're not, we're not like the, you know, coordinator that's going to be like, you have to cover that wall. It's really ugly. Like you have to spend the money to do it. Otherwise, like it's not going to work. Like you can keep an ugly wall. It's totally fine. But like, you know, there's things to do that, you know, you know, just don't mix white with ivory. Like don't be <laughs> like, they're not the same color. If you're going to go all white, go all white. If you're going to go all ivory, go all ivory. That like, you can't mix them up. Otherwise it like, it looks clashy. Yeah, the white little things like super bright next to the dingy, you know, ivory. So yeah. But yeah, yeah. Little, little things. Well, the little things. Yeah. <laughs> I love that timeline. That's my favorite thing too, by the way. The dances right after the entrance. I always think that's the best way to go. Yeah. Like, it always surprises me when people are like, oh no, we want to do it later. I'm like, no. Are you I don't mind I don't mind if people want to do like the other dances later, like if they do like the father, daughter, mother, son. Sometimes I'm kinda like, okay, we can do that and then go into the dance party, but like your dance, like just do it. You're right there. Everybody just cheered for you. Yeah, like, like that, what better moment? It's awkward saying, if you just sit down. Exactly. It's exactly. awkward. You're like, okay, well, thanks yeah. guys. I'm gonna sit right. and eat my uh, my pasta now. Right, you know, and it's always, it's hard always weird. Yeah, there was one that had like a cultural thing where they like to party before dinner, and I was just like, I don't, uh -huh. I don't get this, you know. And they pushed and pushed, and they wanted a full hour of dancing before dinner even started, and it was fun for a little bit, but then it like. Like there were people that were like, when is dinner? You know, they come up to me and say, when's right. dinner? He said, I'm so sorry. They'll be very soon. They just wanted to get a little dancing in. You know, it's like, and I'm apologizing to these guests because they that's what the writer yeah. wanted, you know? And I'm sorry. We're getting to dinner as soon as we can. But uh, that's, you know, we got, we got to do what, the, what they want, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, the guests don't know. You got to go with what the, what the clients want. So, but that's why, you know, it's always good to like listen to, people that do this all the time. Cause I, I, even when I planned my wedding, it was like, I had all these ideas and looking back on it. I mean, I wasn't even really working weddings much at that point. Now I'm like, I can't believe I thought that was ever a good idea. You know, I've learned, uh, but you don't know until you know. Yeah. You know? yeah. So mm -hmm. speaking of just uh, things at weddings. So I, I think well, my question to kind of wrap this all up is as far as the wedding day goes, what are your guys' uh, favorite parts? Or, and least favorite parts, like favorite and least, like what do you like, what do you don't like? I think our our favorite part, I mean, my favorite part is when we get to send the bride down the aisle, fluff her train and send her down the aisle. I like, I, just thinking about it gets me like, oh, it's just too exciting. It's too uh, magical of a moment to be a part of. Um, Cause and I don't even have to know them. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't even I like turn around and I'm like, <laughs> because okay. there's a lot yeah. that to that moment like getting the bride out of the hotel room getting the hair and makeup <laughs> done it there's a lot of effort that goes into just getting to that moment right. and it, that moment is like the beginning of the wedding but it's like the middle of the day where we're finally like here we go you yeah. know we're <laughs> off yeah. we're but, off no we, we did it we got her down the aisle that was the hard part and then yeah my other the other favorite moment for me is just the grand entrance which is just another culminating moment of like they are into the reception you know like let's go um i get yeah. like ooh, heart, i get chills all the way down and when we, i you know, and we do, we like to do the both doors at the same time. Each of us had a door, you know, that's and then we twin like, power. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. It's, it's super magical. And um, that's one of our, that's, I'm already getting chills in the back of my head right now from that. Um, <laughs> it's fun. But least favorite is probably just trying to get them out of the darn hotel rooms and the getting ready spot. Like, it's like, mm. get out. Everyone gets your stuff and go. Like, we're hair and makeup's done. Out, you know, like, <laughs> what are you that doing? to me is always makes me like, I get anxiety because I'm just like waiting for that moment where they're like, out. Right. We gotta, we gotta move we got a big day ahead of us come on guys yeah time to go I mean, uh, and uh, yeah when they get all they all particular over one little curl i'm like you guys don't understand that curl is not going to stay there in that yeah. way for six more hours so can we just move on you know it's going to do what's going to do let's go <laughs> yeah yeah i think yeah, yeah. 
We've my my least Rick, uh, worst least favorite, least favorite moment of the day would probably be trying to trying to delay something because a vendor is not doing their job correctly mm -hmm. or trying to cover up for a, a, court, a vendor that's not doing their job properly. Um, and you, you know, you just, you have to decide whether like, you know, that whether the bride and groom even need to know, or if you can cover it up, <laughs> but like right. we can get away with covering things up. Um, like I had a couple and the next day that she was just like, wait, I was looking at the pictures and I noticed there was no floral uh, at the ceremony when I walked down, but I didn't, I didn't notice until I looked at the pictures and I was just like, like the aisle. yeah, the aisle entrance. And I was like, oh yeah, I know it wasn't there because, and I was like, you want, you want to know why it was, okay, well, your florist was two hours late and. Right. <laughs> But they don't know at the time. Yeah, and I started going through it. She's like, what? And I was like, so she was, oh, she was in the back of a ball, the other room that the venue let her have doing the flowers while your ceremony was going on. Like she, she wasn't even supposed to have that space. That's like a rentable yeah, room it was, that we just happened to have available that she was using to put the flowers together two hours late. And of course she didn't make it on time. But the bride never knew about it until the next day when she was looking back. And I was like, wait. And I was like, yeah. But I knew about that. I knew yeah, about that I, the whole yeah. time. Our team actually helped finish the floors work because we put out the candelabras and lit the candles for them and all the stuff. But yeah. just because we got to get the show going, let's go, you know? Yeah. So we have to. I love that. Yeah, exactly. Whatever you got to do to make it happen. Uh, and this is a, because uh, you, you kind of mentioned this and I'm just curious. Do you, so you guys do a lot of weddings. You see a lot of weddings. Do you guys, you guys still get emotional when you see people like get married? Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Like every time. Like Me too. I, I'm bad at it. I'm, I, I'm like a sensitive Sally. My uh, wife's like, you don't even know these people. Like a lot of times I don't meet them till the day of, I don't have like a couple month journey with them. Like I'll book it and then I'll talk to them the week of, and then we'll do the thing. And I still just like, like the good ones, the awkward ones. I'm like, no, I'm good. Yeah, but like the good one, the good ones. I'm like, Oh, it changed after I became a mom too, because I, now right. I, I cannot, watch a father, daughter, or mother, son dance. I have to go do something else right. because I get like super emotional. Cause I have a son and a daughter. I'm like, Oh my gosh. Sure. Yes. Someday, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I, yeah, it definitely it. hits you. It's yeah. Like my wife, my wife will just turn to me and be like, cause we work weddings together. Sometimes she'll be like, you don't even know them. And I'm just like, I don't know. They're in love. It's cute. <laughs> <You> <laughs> know, like, 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 come on. We, we yeah. cry in romantic movies. What's the difference? It's right yeah. here. Living color. This is real love. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the vows. If there's really good vows, mm -hmm. Like, and they wrote their own vows and it's really good. That, that gets me. I'm like, oh, that was good. You know, I don't yeah. love seeing it. That's probably, that's probably my favorite part is just the vows. When I like when people write their own vows. I don't like, uh, I, I think that's just really special. Yeah, the um, more touches you can put on it, the better. The guests will yeah. remember. Yeah. And I, exactly. and I, I, I want to say too, as having a wedding coordinator right there, who's been through all that many, many times. It, like there's certain moments where I, I like remind them what they're doing and like I help them connect to what's happening and I feel like they're surprised by it when I say things that helps them do that and I just I hope that it helps them really remember the experience of getting married you know things of like you know okay you're about to walk down the aisle okay so don't forget to look for Ryan and make eye contact with him this is the first time he's gonna see you like like letting him know okay and then I'll I'll be right. like, him and I'll be like okay this is your last moment as you know her fiance you ready to be a husband and he's just like Oh my god! Oh. Or you know, I just I say you know, try to walk them through the experience yeah. because like this is not just like a production. This is your wedding, so yeah. and just right. reminding them that of that and staying calm and keeping that romance and like you know you know marking it as it goes. We're right there, so we get to help them through it, help them feel all the feels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that, that's that's fun. That's fun. Are you guys still? Uh, I, I know we're a little over time here, but are you guys still? Do you guys maintain contact with any of your clients or is it usually kind of, do you have some that you're like, oh, these were really cool clients who we still keep in touch with as well? Yeah, there's yes. so many. I'm so grateful for social media because I can, yeah. well, because I honestly, I'm getting emotional. When a wedding's over, sometimes I'm like almost in tears. I'm like, we've worked together for a year and now you guys are just going to go off. Right. I can't believe I don't my, ki my kids are all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we, you know, we had a couple just celebrate their 10 year anniversary and, um, we were just messaging each other old pictures, like remember, and now they have like three kids and I feel like I'm slightly responsible for their happiness and marriage. So they have, to yeah. like, I don't know, um, like they're partially, <laughs> but, um, it's, it's an honor to be a part of everybody's wedding and we do get to make friends. Our last bride or one of our last couple brides this last year on her, um, survey to us afterwards, can we be best friends? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. 
That's good yeah. because that's that's what you want. I mean, your vendors are going to be at your wedding. You want to like them as people, you yeah. know, because they're going to be there. So that's, that's, that's good. So many, so many referrals from past brides. That's a great way to stay in touch too. Yeah. Great. Great. So well, another- listen, I, I, I don't really have anything else. Is there anything else you guys want to say or mention before we, um, we hop off here? Hmm. Um, I just, let's see. Oh, things to DIY. We didn't talk about that or this. Um, things to DIY. I'm, I'm curious to, what. Things not to DIY. We were making. Things little- not to DIY. Uh, please okay. go ahead. Let's, let's yeah, talk about it. Cause I don't know. Uh, yeah, advice for brides. I know you're all trying to cut corners and find budget savers, but, um, I mean, things to DIY that are fine like favors and invitations, uh, programs and signage and all that stuff. Maybe you're a fishy and we can walk him through it. Um, uh, but, uh, or like the rehearsal dinner, DIY some stuff there, like get pizza or, you know, make your dinner like by hand there, but don't DIY your flowers on your wedding day. Fresh flowers. Do not DIY fresh flowers. They take a lot of time and effort moving them and keeping the refrigerator fresh and and like people don't realize that's all last minute and you can't do your hair and makeup and do flowers at the same time yeah it doesn't um and can't diy your dj you can't diy your catering you can't diy your coordination someone has to coordinate it um so you know um but i think that those are all the things yeah don't try and diy your appetizers i know it sounds really easy you could just buy a tray of food at costco and set it out i was like well who's gonna set it out and is that really what you want it to look like i was gonna stay cold how is it gonna be frozen yeah refrigerated where am i gonna who's gonna drop it off who's gonna pick it up and get it here like you know there's all these logistics that it just isn't it's not worth it yeah (laughs) yeah so that's that's definitely good advice yeah that's definitely good advice like that um yeah anything else you guys wanted to mention let Um, people know (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I just uh, want to, and what makes us unique as like a, a wedding planning company, yeah. Uh, yeah, we we are twins, obviously, we have like that, you know, twin telepathy uh, makes us a really great team, but we do have, yeah, we do have assistants that help us out, we have our team on radio, um, yeah, we can, you know, coordinate things through walls from across the venue, from the, um, we can coordinate things through walls and across the venue, or even if like something is going on in the kitchen, and I need the delay from the DJ, like we're, we're fixing things as it's happening. Um, and, uh, so we're really good at like logistics, coordination and details are so important to us. We plan out like who's taking what home, like what, you know, when the vendors are arriving and coming and if somebody's missing, we're already making phone calls. We have it all ready to go. Anyways, we're more into like the logistics and the coordination versus like creating a massive decor and, you know, decor, we're more than happy to help you make it happen and, you know, set it out or do what you need to do. But as far as like our, our bread and butter is logistics and coordination and just all those little details that, um, you know, someone has to take care of. Yeah. Like if you have a Pinterest picture, you're like, I want my wedding to look like this. I can tell you who you need on your team and how much that might cost to put together right. or how you can cut corners or move decor from this place to that place. And you know, where it's going to count and, and help you cut corners and be budget conscious. Like we're very into all that. So uh, that's what we do. That makes, makes us unique and makes us, right. um, the double knot. <laughs> yeah. We help you tie the knot with a double knot without doing a lot. Oh, I messed it up. No, okay. like this. It goes. We help you tie, tie the, the knot, knot without doing a lot with the double knot. Yeah. I go. like that. I like that. That's that's catchy. That's a good that's a good slogan there. <laughs> um yeah, I love it. Yeah. So anything else you guys want to mention? Obviously we'll link to like all your guys' stuff and the socials and all that fun stuff so people know where to find you. Um oh. but yeah, I mean this has been great. I, I can't thank you guys enough for chatting with me. Uh I, I love hearing people's stories and advice because, you know, a lot of people don't know and they don't know all the behind the scenes stuff of what happens at weddings. Yep. And it is a journey for sure. But uh, <laughs> sometimes you won't even know until the next day when you see the picture. And actually, yeah, some <laughs> brides to this day still have no idea what happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, I know brides and grooms that definitely don't know some stuff that went down. I'm like, we're never going to tell them. We'll just, yeah. they'll, it'll be fine. A- I'm sure there's stuff that happened in mind that I don't know about. All right. And I don't want to. And that's what I tell couples too. And they're like, I don't know, do I need a coordinator or not? I was like, well, read our five-star reviews, a hundred percent five-star reviews for 15, 16 yeah. years. And just realize that next level of expert and coordination, when you look back at your wedding, all you're going to remember is, oh my God, it was amazing. Oh, you remember this amazing part? Oh, that was so much fun. If you ask anybody who didn't have a coordinator, when they look back on their wedding, they say things like, oh, it was so exhausting. Oh my God, the flowers was late. And oh, God, all these things just come to them. It's all negative. Yep. And it's just like, you, you, which experience do you want to keep for the rest of your life? <laughs> uh, yep, exactly. 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 <laughs> Boom. There's no better way to end it than right there. That's the mic drop. I want to actually so th- talk 
I would never do that, Sean. Just you know. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That's as a as a person who runs the sound. Please don't ever drop the mic. Last piece of advice: don't <laughs> drop the mic. Please don't drop my mic. They are not cheap. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll we'll be yeah. in touch. You guys have a great rest of your day. You and too. Um, yeah, thanks for doing this. And uh, we'll let yeah. everybody know where to find you. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. Have a good one. Good to see you. You too. Thanks for listening to another episode of Eventful Endeavors, Secrets to Crafting the Perfect Celebration. We hope to have left you with some actionable ideas for your own event. If you like the show, please subscribe and definitely leave us a review. We read every comment. So until next time, happy planning and see you soon on Eventful Endeavors.